Welcome back to the channel. As many of you know, we just got back from deer season 2024. We were hunting out of state back in Oklahoma. We had a successful trip. If you've been following along, we taught you just recently how to track deer. We're going to be showing you today how to smoke some of that deer up. So we're going from the field to the smoker to the plate. So let's get to the video. Okay, so one of the biggest deals that most people overlook or maybe don't even know about, especially if you haven't harvested a deer in the past, this is what you're going to call silver skin. We want to get all that off. You can use whatever knife you want, but we're going to get down to this red meat. Any of that fat or silver skin, we do not want to cook it. If you guys are unfamiliar, there's actually a vein in your hindquarter that has a scent gland in it and it is in the middle of the muscle near the bone. You need to cut that out. On this particular muscle right here, this is right off of the inside hock. So this is really good tender meat. It's, it's nothing but good solid meat. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue cutting all this silver skin off. It's a little bit of a tedious process, but it'll be the difference between a really, really good meal and uh, something that you want to give away to your neighbors. See this right here? Another piece of that kind of gristle type tendon. We're going to get all that off. You can see how the silver skin, and that's why they call it silver skin, we're going to get all that, every bit of that off. A little bit of a process, but we did a lot of this work at camp when we were actually cleaning the deer up from the harvest. If you guys need to watch a video on tracking deer and making sure that you can find your deer after your shot, we've recently posted a real good video on that as well. Taking you from the tree stand to the field. We had several deer blowing and telling us where our deer was. So it's kind of an interesting video. I'll put a link up up here somewhere where you guys can go watch that if you're into that. But this is going to be a great meal that you could make for a Super Bowl party, uh, family reunion, Thanksgiving. It's coming up. Don't forget about your church luncheons. This is, we t historically, every church luncheon, we smoke if they're in a burn van. And this is something that really makes a great meal. And I'll get back with you as soon as we get this thing cleaned up and then we're gonna show you what we do. We're gonna be using a real simple rub on this because it don't need much. It don't get much better than the freshest of fresh. All right, so we've got this, all the silver skin off. We got a couple of little tiny pieces, ain't no big deal, but you want to get the majority of that silver skin off, you should end up with a nice, beautiful piece of meat. Guys, we've cut a lot of this stuff off over here. If you've got a buster, do not throw this away. We're going to smoke this up for the dogs. This is one of the best, I mean, absolute best healthy treats you can give your dog. Do not feed your dogs raw venison. It is too lean. It will jack up their system, and unless you've got a wild dog, don't feed them raw meat because it's going to end up hurting them. I know a lot of people who've been around deer camp, they've fed the scraps to their dogs and then their dogs get deathly ill. Don't do that. We're going to cook it up. Buster deserves a nice smoked meal too. But here's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put this, we're going to do a little bit of a dry rub like I told you. It's going to be real simple, and then we're going to get this thing on the smoker. When I say real simple, all we're using is some garlic salt. We're going to put a little bit of garlic salt on this. You can put it however much you want. And then we're also going to put some black pepper on it. And that's really going to be about it. A little bit of black pepper. If you guys like the kosher salt, you can do that too. If you notice, this is basically just a dry rub. This meat is phenomenal. We're talking about fresh venison. This has been off the deer less than a week, and it is super tender, and it's going to be super awesome. Don't mess it up with a bunch of junky spices. All right, so we've got the smoker. It's warmed up to about 200, 225. We are 
actually making two different videos at the same time. You hear that sizzle? That's what we want to hear on that Tommy Hawk. Let's go ahead and shut the lid and we're going to let it smoke. We're going to wrap that let it rest. The internal temps are 165. We got a really nice roast that smoked up this fresh venison. We did cook it on up to temps. This is going to be kind of a medium to medium well done cook. This is really soft. Look how beautiful that meat is. It's nice and pink. You've got that pink smoke layer going on there. We've also got the scraps left over for the dogs. So it will be a Buster approved meal. But look at that. Just look how tender that is. Let me give you a little taste test real quick. Mmm. Perfect. Extremely tender. Very delicious. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put some beans on here. We're going to put some double baked potatoes on here. All right, the only thing left is a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Angie stayed up last night and she made me this pot of beans. I've ate most of them all day while the rest of this stuff was smoking. Again, double baked potatoes. If you guys want a video on that, comment down below. We'll make that video happen for you. We got some pinto beans. They're going to be spicy. I love jalapenos in it. And then nothing beats. I mean, absolutely nothing beats this right here. Smoked venison. Look at that smoke ring. Absolutely delicious. I hope you all have a blessed week. We're going to be doing fishing later on in the week, so make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the outdoors.